you guys are looking to buy FIFA coins with fast delivery and cheap prices or open up FIFA packs on a brand new website for real coin totals, check out FIFACoinZone.com and use the code HABER to get yourself 5% off. No matter what time I crawl into bed on Wednesday night, you best be sure my body is not allowing me to sleep until like 4 or 5 a.m. It is currently 8.59 a.m. on Thursday morning. We are waiting we are waiting for the rewards to come out. We've got one minute to yet to come to something to yet. We've got one minute until foot chance rewards. I'm very tired. We've got one minute until foot jumps rewards come out. Uh, and we're about to claim our division rivals and foot jumps rewards for this video. Welcome back. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We have got myself some elite one rewards. We have got some rival rewards. We've got some champ rewards. We've got everything here. We've finished rank three in division one for uh, for rivals for myself. I didn't play any rivals midweek, which I probably should have, and I will probably next week. Uh, it's just that I didn't actually play all 30 games of foot champs this weekend. Uh, in fact, I only played to gold three. I finished 14 and four, uh, mainly because I just had a busy weekend. I couldn't play all my uh, champs games and I finished at gold three. Um, however, next, oh sorry, this weekend, so tomorrow onwards, uh, I should be able to play all 30 games and play some rivals games as usual. And, uh, and hopefully we get some decent rewards for us. So let's see what we get from gold, gold three and rank three. Uh, we've got two player picks of three players. Let's see if we can get anything good. Man, I would kill for that Lewandowski card. I really would. We're going to start off with an Akinfeev. I mean, I'll take it. It's an 83 rated card. Uh, don't forget that all red players now are essentially useful. Not really, but kind of. Um, in the point now where we have the foot champions upgrade. So, I'm not going to complain about having really awful reds. Because you can upgrade them eventually. It just takes a little bit of time. You've got to play a bunch of weekend leagues to get enough reds to, uh, to upgrade them. But, we've got another one here. Come on, EA. Let's see something big. Come on. All right, we'll take another 83. We'll take another 83. It's going to be uh, Akinfeev and I'm going to take Lialic. Uh, am I going to take Lialic? Uh, I'm never going to use either of these cards. I'm going to take Malo instead just because he's got more links. Just in case I do need an 83 rated Spanish right back from La Liga, we'll take Malo instead. He might... Yeah, okay, good. <laughs> I was hoping he wouldn't be from, uh, from, from the Liga too. I don't know what it's called. Uh, okay, so we have got two Mega Packs and two 50k packs for rivals and two mega packs and 150k pack for champs so let's go ahead and open up i believe the mega packs for rivals are the last two we'll see we will see and let's see what we can get from these packs anyway so we're going to start off with an on walkout it's gonna be a board though i don't know if this is the tradable or untradable we're about to find out though we're about to find out because they usually group up together and we get sergio roberto it's actually a good pack a4 raid's decent. Uh, Sergio Roberto, I think, has a value of like 7k or something. Um, just because he's a right back and there's not a whole lot of board drop right backs. Okay, this is one of the untradable ones from uh, from Rivals. So that's good. We'll take that. Uh, Sergio Roberto is not bad at all. Uh, and a draft token. That's actually not bad. I think that's two weekends in a row. That uh, Sorry, two, uh, two weekdays in a row that we have had a draft token in our award. That is not too bad at all. I'll happily take a draft token. Um... Draft tokens are always nice. Second 35k pack from Rivals. Let's see what we can get. Come on, EA. Let's see what we can get from the second one. No walkout again. Are we going to get another board? No, we are not. Yikes. Okay. The uh, the 35k packs for Division 1 Rivals this weekend. For, uh, sorry, this week for me. Don't seem to have anything in. Uh, two weeks in a row we've had icons from 35k packs from Rivals. So... Sadly, just my look isn't quite there. <laughs> my look isn't quite there. Or maybe just this week. I don't know. Anyway, we've got a 35k pack now from Champs. So this is tradable. So if we get something good, it is tradable. And sadly, we aren't going to get anything good. It's going to be a non-board. Um, probably like an 80 rated player as well. We do get a player pick of 75 to 80 rated. Can we get an inform from this? That'd be nice. Go on, EA. Inform? Maybe? Ah, uh, we get an 80 rated card. We'll take it. I just realized Ulrich was already in the pack. I don't know why I took Ulrich. I'm just going to discard it. Um, my brain's not working today. My brain isn't working. We got another mega pack though. Come on. Come on, yeah. Please walk out. Please. No, no walk out. It's going to be a uh, board at least. We'll take a board. I'll happily take a board. Go on. What's it going to be? It's going to be Kagawa. Okay. A3 rated. I don't think I actually have him in the club, which is strange because I feel like Kagawa is always in my club. <laughs> 
he is actually in the club. <laughs> That's quite funny. He's actually in the club as well. I feel like Kaga was always in my club. But we are now have we now have two 50k packs and one 50k pack. Two from rivals, one from champs, and I think that the two from rivals are at the back. So let's open up these two first and see if we can get anything good. We're going to start with an inform. That's not too bad. We'll take that. What's it going to be? It's going to be English centre back Jagielka. Hey, I'll take that. What rate is Jagielka actually? He's 82 rated. That's not bad at all. I'll take that. 82 rated informs decent because it's a pretty good benchmark rating for an inform. And informs are becoming more useful for uh, SBCs now. So that'll be decent if we get like a, a pop of SBC that's like 84 rated with an inform. That'd be absolutely fantastic because he'd be a decent rating for it. And we've got him in the club and tradable. So... That's decent. I'm happy to take that, EA. Come on. We've got another 50k pack. Come on. Let's see that walkout. Please, EA. Let me see that walkout symbol, EA. Please. No walkout from this. It's going to be a non-board. Wow. All right, EA. What have I done wrong to, to get punished this hard? What What did I do wrong to get punished this hard? Damn. EA. What did, what did I do wrong? Yikes. All right. We've got two players here. I, I'm yawning. That's how tired I am right now. <laughs> I think you guys can tell. I'm pretty tired. All right. We've got one more 50k pack, though. This one's tradable. If you're going to give me a walkout, yeah, this one's the one. Please. Yes. I actually got a walkout. We'll take that. I'll happily take that. That's great. Come on. What's it going to be? It's going to be Senegalese left wing. We'll take it. Sadio Mane. Not bad at all. Actually, a really good pull. 86 rated. I don't think he's selling for a whole lot. Um... Let me check how much Mane is selling for. Sadio Mane is currently going for about 26k. So it's not too bad. A lot of people ask me why I don't search like this and check. It's because he's 26k. How am I supposed to gauge 26k from this? I just saw one for 27k with like one minute remaining. How am I supposed to get any kind of idea of how much he goes for like that? I just search on Footbin and I say it out loud. And I don't know, if you don't like it, I do apologize. That's just the way I've always done it. Anyway, I'll take a 26k walkout. We've got an A4 in there as well. So let's go ahead and open up Sam's rewards now. Now it's time for Sam's rewards. I believe he finished either rank two or rank one in rivals and he finished in rank one. As always, Sam, you grind. You really do grind, to be fair. Uh, so, finishing rank 1 for rivals, which gives him 2 ultimate packs and 2 mega packs. And in champs, I believe, gold 1, which grants you 2 ultimate... Uh, sorry, 2 two 100k packs and then 2 player picks with 50,000 coins. So, let's see if we can get something good. Now, he said in DMs... What did he say? Um, in terms of players, he said Lewandowski, then Son, then anyone highest rated. So... If we can get either Lewandowski or Son, that would be highly successful in my opinion. We're going to start off with Ben Alpha. What a start. Just, just what we wanted. A player that's got a, a much higher rated card that has probably already been obtained by Sam for free. And this card literally looks impossible to use in game. 53 stamina. He's going to be, li he's going to be useful probably from the 80th minute to the 90th and that's it. And he probably won't, he won't even be usable. He'd just be, that's the only time you'll ever have stamina. <laughs> anyway, second player pick. Come on, EA, please. Some are good. Come on. I mean, DePaul's not bad, to be fair. Like, in my opinion, a decent looking card. Uh, he's got nice stats. He's got four-star skills and some nice base card stats. But in-games don't look amazing. They don't look nothing, like, particularly impressive. So we'll go ahead and take that anyway. An 82 and an 84 is okay, but it's not great. It's, you know, just a bit... Meh, really, but I guess we'll take it. All right, so we've got two mega packs, two ultimate packs, two 100k packs. Let's start with the megas, go to the uh, ultimates for uh, for rivals, and then we'll go to the 100k packs for champs. So first mega pack is not looking great. Wow, okay. Maybe this week is just not the week for the mega packs. In the past couple of weeks, the mega packs have been fantastic. So I've started to get my hopes up for the mega packs, but maybe this week just isn't the week for the mega packs. Who knows? Anyway, high rate plays will be very nice and tradable for, for Sam because I know that he's uh, currently in the process of completing a couple Icon SPCs and saving up for uh, a couple more Icon SPCs. I know that he wants to do, uh, uh, I think, Roberto Carlos. He just finished Cruyff as well. Um, so any high rate cards, I think, would be decent to store in the club. So, yeah, come on. Give us a couple high rate walkouts. That'd be very nice. It'd be nice to get a couple of tradable high-rated walkouts on uh, on on Sam's uh, Sam's rewards here. So I'm guessing these are all yeah they're all untradable. So uh, hopefully we can get something good. Come on here, we've got two ultimate packs here and two 100k packs. I'm expecting at least one walkout, please. 
No walkout in the first ultimate pack. Wow. Okay. Wow. EA. This is just not the morning, is it? This morning's just not the morning. I should have stayed in bed. <laughs> I really should have stayed in bed. Wow. Okay. 84 Dembele from ultimate pack is just not very good. Hopefully the second one redeems this uh, horrendous pack. What else do we got? Any of the high rated cards in here? An 83 horn. Is there a tradable counterpart in the club? There is not. What about you? Okay, there's just no no tradable plays in the club. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, yeah. Wow. All right, Sam. Sam's just got all untradable plays in the club. I see how it is. So we've got another ultimate pack now from Rivals. Come on, EA. Surely. 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 From an ultimate pack. An untradable ultimate pack. I feel like untradable packs have a little bit better look. There we go. There's a walkout. Come on. What's it going to be? It's going to be... Come on. Ooh. Godin. 90 rated. Yo, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. I wanted to say Suarez. I couldn't get my words out for Suarez. I literally couldn't say the words when I went, Ooh. <laughs> I was like, oh, Godin. Okay. 76,000 coins he's got a value of. That's actually fantastic. 90 rated card is great. Um... I'm sure Sam will find that really useful for uh, for SBCs. So that's actually really, really good. So I'm happy to take that. Thank you very much, EA. And an Inform and Elder v -Reld. What a pack. That is actually a really, really good pack. That is a fantastic pack. Holy moly. Okay. 284s, an 87, a 90, and an Inform. How much is Elder v -Reld going for right now? Older Rewards holding a value of about 33k. So there's about 100,000 coins in those two alone worth of value in this pack. That is actually fantastic. Fair enough here. That's an insane pack. I'll happily take that. All right. So first 100k pack for the Foot Champs Rewards. Let's see what we can get. It's not going to be a walkout in the first 100k pack. Can we at least get something high rate? Maybe an 85 would be nice. It's going to be... Go on, Fabinho. Hey, 85 Fabinho. That is not bad. That's actually really good. Happily take that. Happily take that, EA. 85 Fabinho is uh is up to my standard. 85 and an 84. Not a bad pack at all. What else we got here? We got a few 82s there. We'll discard for the profit. Happily take that. Yeah, I'm 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 pretty happy with that, EA. Alright, next 100 k pack. And the last one for Sam's uh, rewards in this video. What are we gonna get? Come on, walk out. No walkout in the last 100k pack. That's not that's not amazing. That's not amazing. Can we get another 85 maybe? It's going to be Bosnian strikers. Another 85. We'll happily take Edin Dzeko. 285 is not bad. That's not bad, EA. Yeah. I'll happily take it. As far as non-walkouts go, we've got a couple of decent ones. Another 84 in there as well is not bad. Eight duplicate items. What we got in the dupes? What we got? We got a couple of 83, 383s actually. It's not bad. That's actually pretty decent. All right, we'll take that. We'll discard those for profit and we'll go ahead and open up Simons now. I think that's been pretty decent. That's actually, we got a really, really good pack to be fair. And by the way, this is uh, this is Sam's full uh, flashback team. Sam, Sam, for some reason, has a full flashback team. No no idea why he's got this, but he's, he's, he's tried to do all the flashbacks. So fair enough to him. Anyway, let's go ahead and open up Simon's Rewards. Now for Simon's Rewards, this is what the, the team that... I uh, can't even speak, man. This is the team that si Simon currently uses in, in like foot jumps and whatnot. I think he went uh, like 24-0 and 0 to start this weekend or last weekend, and then finished on 27-3. and three. So it was a fantastic start, but a really disappointing end. However, hopefully we can get him something good from uh, from these rewards. I know he really, really wants that Lewandowski, so to get a red Lewandowski would be fantastic. Um, but as you can see, we finished an Elite 1, or Simon finished an Elite 1 anyway. So we've got three player picks of five items, two ultimate, uh, sorry, two premium Team of the Week packs, and two uh, 100k packs. So, come on EA, let's see what we can get. First player pick. Come on, give me that Lewandowski for Simon, please. 87 Ilicic. We've got 85 Dante in there too. That's not bad, to be fair. 87 Ilicic, though. That's a great start. We'll happily take an 87. Not a bad start at all. Not an amazing looking card, sadly. Uh, he's got a few decent standout stats there, but, uh, but sadly, it's just... One of those cards that in previous years would be useful, but in this year, just not useful at all. Um, second player pick. Come on, show me that Lewandowski for Simon, please. 86 Vardy as well. Wow, okay. They're, they're two really good player picks so far. 86 Vardy there as well. Another decent looking card, but sadly doesn't have the stats of his uh, of his SBC version, I don't think. I think his SBC version has better stats. Regardless, we've got one more player pick. Come on, EA. Come on. Show us the money. Show us the money. All right, we've got 85 Dante there. Not bad. An 86, an 85, and an 87 is pretty decent. 
is pretty decent as far as it goes. That's not bad at all. That's actually a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent week for Reds for Simon. And then again, Simon's account I've always felt has got really, really good rewards on it. It's always really lucky. So let's see if we can get him anything good and maybe push him over that four milli mark. Who knows? Anyway, first mega pack from rivals. Come on, EA. Let's see something good. Let's see a walkout. No walkout in the first one. We're going to get a board, though. Hey, I'll take a board. What's it going to be? 85? Colombian. Striker. 85 rated Falcao is not a bad start. Not a bad start at all. We'll happily take that. Happily take it. Come on. By the way, I've probably said happily take that. Oh, 84 as well. Not bad. I probably said we'll happily take that a lot of times in this video. When I'm tired, I just repeat myself over and over and over again. So I do apologize about that. But second mega pack. Come on, EA. What are we going to get? No walkout in the second mega pack. Can we get another board though? Yes, we can. Can we get another 85? That is a question. Brazilian centre back. Ah, I thought that might have been Marquinhos. That'd have been weird if it was. If we got two 85s and two mega packs, that'd have been weird. But we got 83 rated uh, David Luiz and 83 rated Kovacic, the Chelsea boys. We'll take that. And we've got a uh, uh, Bumgartlinger to discard. Two rare players packs now in for the rest of the rivals. I was going to say in terms of rival rewards, but that didn't make a whole lot of sense. We got a walkout in the first one, though. Come on, what are we going to get? It's going to be a normal walkout. What's it going to be? It's going to be Argentinian centre back. It's going to be Otamendi. I Every time I see Argentinian, I get a little bit excited, hoping, hoping to say centre forward, but it doesn't. It never says it either says striker or it says centre back. But it's got to be Otamendi. Not bad. An 86 rated card is an 86 rated card, and that is not a bad one to get. We'll take that. Decent links and whatnot, so not a bad start. Uh, I don't know how much he goes for. I think it's a value of about 25 to 30k. So it's not. It's, it's pretty decent to be fair. It is pretty decent. Anyway, second rare player pack. Come on, EA. Let's let's see something big. Let's see something big. No walkout in the second one. Whoa, I was even thinking we'd get another walkout. I, I don't know. I forget that these are just 50k packs and we shouldn't really expect huge cards. But we've got DeVry in that one's not too bad as well. Pretty decent. Every time I see uh, Dutch centre back, I still think Van Dijk's an 85, even though he's not. Even though he is an 88 rated card, still think it. But we've got two Jumbo Rare Plays packs now and two Premium Team of the Week packs. Let's see what we can get from the uh, Foot Champs Rewards and see if playing to 27 and 3 was worth it. Again, wow, okay. Wow. Wow. That's a 100k pack right there. That is a pack worth about £18 if you were to buy it with FIFA points. £18 right there. Damn. Okay, EA. Yeah. I see you. I see you, EA. No need for that, is there? No need for that disrespect, is there? Wow. Okay. All right. Second 100k pack, though. Can we get something good from this 100k pack? That is the question. That is the question. Go on. Walk out. That's more like it. Come on. What's it going to be? It's going to be a normal walkout. What is it going to be today? Oh, okay. Kaylor Navas, 87 rate is not bad. Don't know how much he goes for. How much do you go for, Kaylor Navas? You currently go for a whopping 27,000 coins. All right, it's not bad. That's not bad. 27.5k, we'll take that. Pretty decent value. Uh, not a bad card. 87 rate, good for SBCs and whatnot. What else have we got? 86 Urzel and 85 Ribery. Another pretty mental pack. That is actually a mental pack. Wow, okay. That is a really good pack. EA, what is it with giving me two walkouts in these in these packs, man? What a pack. All right, we'll take that. Urzel and Ribery in the same pack as Kalor Navas. That is not too bad. So, we have two premium Team of the Week packs. In terms of the informants we'd like to get in these, of course, Son... Um, Son and Lewandowski are a, a given. We'd, like, we'd love both of those. Um, and then outside of that, Vardy would be fantastic. Uh, Sarabia would be fantastic. Any of the high-rated ones would be fantastic. Let's see if we can get anything good. Come on here, show me that Son or, or Lewandowski. We've got a walkout in the first one. That's a great start. Come on, please, please. It's going to be Argentinian, centre mid, Depaul. Don't really care at all. I'll be honest with you. I didn't even mean to rhyme that, but don't care. Just don't care. Come on, EA. We want to see one of the big boys. We want to, we want this to be worth it for Simon. We want playing to 27 and 3. That's actually not a bad pack, to be fair. Don't know how much DePaul and, and Paul Lopez go for. How much do they go for? 19,500 and 22,000. So that's actually not a bad pack, to be fair. That is pretty decent. I just want this to be worth it for Simon. I really do. Come on. Second premium team of the week pack, EA. Please show us a huge one. Come on, please. For Simon. Gonna be another walkout. That's good. That's that's already good. Come on. What's it gonna be? Italian CDM. De Rossi's not bad actually. De Rossi's pretty decent. 85 rated. 
Uh, he, we could also have a Dante in there as well. Dante's 85 too. 31k currently goes for. That's not bad. All right. All right, EA, I see you. Got anything else in the pack? Maybe a Dante or an 84? No, it's going to be De Rossi and Rossi next to each other. Okay. All right, yeah, that's uh, fair enough. And then uh, and then Booz out, who actually has a pretty all right looking card. In fact, this card looks pretty decent base card wise. 89 and 89 for agility and balance. All right, we'll take that, EA. Yeah. We'll take that. We'll store those on the transfer list. That is it for this week. We had two pretty mental packs. Um, but apart from that, it's been it's been alright. It's been quiet. We didn't get an icon this week, sadly. Um, I know we've been packing an icon like every week, but sadly, this week wasn't the week. But I do appreciate you all tuning in and watching. Thank you all for the support recently. You guys are absolutely dope. And I'll see you lads later.